Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is a wonderful game full of amazing tracks, however, some are better than others, and a few are even downright bad. In this video, I will be counting booster course tracks in addition to the base game tracks, so let's get into it. At number 5 is GBA Mario Circuit. This course has one of the flattest tracks in the game, and Nintendo must have thought by tilting a very small portion of the track and giving it anti-gravity that it would somehow make this track feel not as flat. This didn't work because the rest of the track is still flat, the main gimmick of this course is making a bunch of turns while dodging some stuff, and overall I find that to be boring. The thing I do like about this track is the hidden shortcuts scattered throughout, but that's the only part of this course that sticks out to me. While this isn't my favorite course at all, it still isn't as bad as the other ones on my list, it gets much worse after this. At number 4 is Tor Tokyo Blur. The reason this one is on my list is because the track itself is extremely bland. During the entire first lap, you just drive around with no obstacles or ramps in sight besides a singular ramp that you need a mushroom to use. Besides that one thing, you just make some turns and drive around Tokyo, but there isn't anything exciting going on. Then in lap 2, swamps show up, but that's the only thing adding any challenge to this course. The amount of challenge though is a very small amount. I have never been hit by a swamp on this track ever. Dodging these require the same amount of skill that is required to get wet when it is raining. Absolutely none. Anyways, the second lap is pretty short and the third lap is pretty dull as well. There's a ramp at the end that you glide off, but that doesn't really do much to make anything interesting. The actual track you race on in this course is the definition of the word lackluster. In fact, if you look up that word in the Oxford Dictionary, it probably makes a reference to Tokyo Blur. The only reason this course doesn't sink lower than it already sinks is because the background is actually really pretty and well detailed. Everything you can't race on is put together beautifully. I have no criticism of all the buildings and landmarks at all, but the main thing that matters in the course is the actual track itself, and this track sucks. At number 3 is GBA Sunset Wilds, and the best way to describe this track is useless, because it adds nothing of value to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. There is nothing in this course that hasn't been done already. Even the desert theme is similar to Calamari Desert, which is, by the way, an actual good course. Sunset Wilds is a pretty flat track, and Nintendo just added one bumpy section at the end. What makes this track even worse is that Nintendo took out a certain feature. In Mario Kart Super Circuit, this course would have the sun set and the sky change colors as you completed laps. For some reason, Nintendo just ditched this, and it really makes the remake of this track lifeless and sucky. While this track sinks low, there are two more tracks that somehow suck more than it. At number 2 is SNES Mario Circuit 3, and I was really debating whether or not to put this one at number 1, but I saved number 1 for a course that's just flat out bad and boring. SNES Mario Circuit 3 is also those things, but number 1 still takes the kick. Anyway, what makes this track bad is the fact it's just another course from Super Mario Kart, and let's be honest, that game hasn't aged well. It may have been the first Mario Kart game, but compared to everything that came after it, it's awful. The most awful part of that game, though, has to be the lack of unique courses. There are four Mario Circuits in that game, and all four of them have flat tracks. Mario Circuit 3 is no exception. I don't even know why this one needs to be remade. There are already plenty of other Mario Circuits and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe now, so we didn't really need another one. This track has almost nothing good in it. All you do is make some turns and dodge some stuff on the ground, and it isn't much fun. The only reason this isn't at number 1 is because this track is iconic to Super Mario Kart, and because there is a little more fun to have here than in number 1. Before we get to number 1, if you're enjoying this video, please subscribe, it really helps this channel out, and I'll be making some more dope content in the future. In number 1 is the worst Mario Kart 8 Deluxe track, is 3DS Toad Circuit. This track was originally in Mario Kart 7 as the first track in the game. For those of you that don't know, the main purpose for most first courses in Mario Kart games is to show you how the mechanics work. Toad Circuit from Mario Kart 7 was basically a tutorial level for that game. It existed to show the player how to play, and it showed off the new gliding mechanic. That is pretty much it. This course is basically just boring, and there was no reason to bring it to the booster course pass. The entire track is an 8-figure circuit with two extra turns, which makes it extremely basic. Due to the fact it is very simple, as well as the fact there isn't much substance here, this is my least favorite course in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. The only thing here I like is the giant toad floats, but a couple of cool decorations doesn't make this track any better. Anyway, that is the end of this video, and surprisingly Bone Dry Dunes didn't even make it to my list due to the fact that the other tracks I've listed are much worse. Honestly, Bone Dry Dunes is amazing compared to the 5 worst, but anyway, that's the end of my video. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll be making some more dope content in the future. Peace out.